Now I gotta say man, Fortnite's a pretty fun game, but you know what's the funniest thing that you can actually do in it? EXPLOITING THE GAME So I'm pretty sure you guys already know that Epic Games does a pretty good job at fixing most of the bugs that Fortnite actually has, but not every single one of them has been patched, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing the most game breaking and the best ones as of right now. Just please don't go ahead and use them in a public lobby, because of course, if you do, you'll get banned, and if I find out, then I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and spank you. So I just came back from a fortune teller and she told me your chances of getting a dick girlfriend will increase by 94% but it only works if you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Also, your boy here is broke, I'm about to get kicked out from the house and I'm kinda struggling a bit. I already missed 2 months worth of rent money that I owe to my landlord. She, she's gonna kick me out very soon so if you guys can just hook me up by using my creator code SERNANDO in the Fortnite item shop, I would appreciate it so much and you will go ahead and save me from sleeping in the streets and uploading in a public library so i'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and start levitating and hovering off the ground and in order to do this cool animation you're going to be needing the cannon so go ahead and get in it now in order to actually do this glitch successfully you want to press the button to exit and as well as get in the cannon both at the same exact time so if you press those buttons in sync you should be able to do that and then you're going to notice that the camera is a little bit tilted and if you go ahead and sprint your character is going to start hovering or levitating just like that which looks pretty awesome. Now another cool thing about this glitch is if you want to go ahead and start building really cool and unique structures go ahead and move the camera all the way up and then you want to go ahead and start building just random structures. Just start placing a bunch of stuff and you're gonna notice that the way how you can actually position them are are pretty weird to be honest they're not supposed to look like this whatsoever and just start placing random stuff if you want to go ahead and fix your game up just in case the camera's making you sick a bit all you're gonna need to do is get back into the cannon bro i can't even find the cannon it's like so hard with this camera oh geez man all right there we go it's fixed and you're gonna notice that the that the structures Ain't, ain't, ain't looking that well. I, I'm not sure how this will actually benefit you in any sort of situation. If you want to prove to your friends that you're a legit hacker, then this will be a perfect way to do so. <laughs> All right, so here's another glitch to help you out. If you're like a scumbag like me, you can go ahead and hide inside the lava here without taking much damage or at all really. So all you're gonna need is a hamster ball and then you want to go ahead and stick on towards one of these little arms for this machine right here and then you want to go ahead and back up a bit so you can stretch it out as much as you can and then you want to dive into the actual lava and if you're inside of it just like that then you're going to notice that the camera is completely engulfed in lava and you can't really see much you can totally bet that no one else can see you and you can go ahead and hide inside of here without any issues whatsoever now if you let go then the hamster ball itself is is a uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty much stuck in here now. But if you continue to move and move and move, eventually you'll be able to go ahead and adjust the camera and you'll be able to see your character just a little bit. And you guys can see that the character is now engulfed in lava and you get this pretty cool lava texture on your skin right here, which looks really, really awesome. <laughs> All right, people. So I'm going to be showing you a way how you can go ahead and play Fortnite upside down. Go ahead and start up creative and you want to go and get yourself a turret. So once you have done that, go ahead and place it directly right in front of the teleporter that's right about here. And then what you want to do next is get into it while you jump down and then you want to make sure that your character goes instantly inside the portal. So just like this, press E and then your character is going to be traveling back to the hub. Now, in order for this glitch to actually work, you need to continuously keep doing it again and again and again and then eventually your character is going to spawn into the island upside down but yeah my, my, my character is uh currently looking really really derpy right now and then also the glider is upside down also you can go ahead and start building all willy-nilly just like that it's, it's kind of hard though because uh th the game is kind of broken the controls is definitely hard to uh, actually aim properly. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh okay. My, my bullets went through that. How does the emo look? All right, let's see. Oh God. 
What what is this? <laughs> All right, people. So I'm gonna be showing you a pretty cool way to go ahead and wall breach inside of this pillar right here, which of course you can go ahead and use to uh, uh hide from everybody who's pretty much inside of here, and you can pretty much shoot them with no issue whatsoever. Just don't do this in a public session, cause you'll most likely get banned. But go over here, right by these chests, and you want to place a structure right around here and then you want to go ahead and place one like that and then you want to go ahead and jump down just like this and as soon as you do that just move a little bit more forward until the game actually lets you go ahead and glitch inside of this one right here and bam just like that you are 100% fully invisible and no one can pretty much tell that you're hiding inside here. And if you want to go ahead and shoot your friends in a private match, then you can pretty much do so with no issue whatsoever. So it's a pretty good spot if you're trying to get some loot, heal, or trying to get away from people who are chasing you. Alright, so here's another funny animation glitch that you guys can go ahead and do. Come all the way here in this spot of the map or any long ledge area just like this one right here. And you want to go ahead and use two balloons. Now what we need to do in order for this glitch to actually work is you want to come as close as you possibly can towards the ledge without falling down. And then you want to go ahead and use any of the emotes that you guys have. And just very, very slowly just move the analog stick going up like that and then you should be able to start emoting just like this and then the game won't cancel out the, the animation and, and you're literally just just dancing while you're going ahead and just falling down slowly and you can go ahead and use it to troll all your friends just by looking how just how ridiculous you start looking when you're falling down all right so here's a pretty funny glitch with the battle bus now if you want to go ahead and stay on it and explore the fortnite world then it's a pretty simple one actually all you need to do is get on it and just when everybody's leaving just stay just stay on the bus don't even go anywhere until the timer actually is about to force you out of it and just about when the timer is about to reach zero Go ahead and unplug your internet cable or disconnect the internet entirely and then you will stay on the battle bus and you will not be able to leave. And by doing this you can just continue the bus to, to keep flying and going and going and going without stopping whatsoever. And it's pretty funny. I actually stayed on this until, until I couldn't go anymore and then the game just totally kicked me out entirely which was pretty funny to actually witness. Now there are a few ways to actually go ahead and replay season 1 just in case you never had the opportunity to actually see what the game was like back then. Now the first one being a map that a friendly user went ahead and recreated so you basically get the gist of how Fortnite used to look like and what some of the stuff that used to be here before Fortnite went ahead and actually removed it forever. So this will basically give you some sort of clue on how season 1 of Fortnite actually played out and it looks really cool going ahead and reminiscing about the past and some of the stuff that used to be here that I wish one day Fortnite will go ahead and re-add back which will be really really awesome but hopefully you guys will go ahead and revisit this map and try it out for yourself just in case you never had that opportunity now the second one that I got right here was actually going ahead and hiring a hacker to go and replay season one so I can go ahead and see what it was like and him actually going ahead and hosting a private season one lobby. So here's the full story to that. Is it possible for you to send me back to season one? Season one, like a lot of people want to get into that, but I can host a season one server for you because you know the game files and everything, right? When the seasons normally come out, you can download the entire game, bro, the entire game save. And and that's what I did. I downloaded the entire game set and I can host these servers privately. And yeah, my, my prices for season servers can range from two fifty to six thousand dollars, depending on which season you what? want to go back to. Yeah, hundred percent. I know it's crazy, but I, no one on the planet can do what I can do, bro. Is it possible for you to get me some season one skins? Easy. I can show you right now on some clients that I have done recently, like in the past. Just normally I show this as evidence and proof. This is just some footage of like me doing all these accounts. Like all this is, this was just a brand new completely account, right? And look, it's a Renegade Raider. This is the rarest skin in the game. What? You, you can, you had if you see, Raider? yep. I, I, I spawned this on them accounts. Bro, yeah, I, I can do this. Brother, 
I'm the bro. I use a Fortnite skin generator. What are you on about? My own personalized skin generator completely works. Like these are accounts that I've done. Like this was a completely brand new account. I went ahead and put a rank on it, a level. I put skins, outfits, and everything. You know, I put V bucks on these accounts for these people. How'd you get the cool yeah, this this is recent. This was recent, my dude. This was recent. Yeah, I've done this account recently. This one. Yeah, one hundred eleven thousand V bucks. Pretty oh crazy, right? My God. Yeah. I know, and I, I can legit do pretty much anything that you want. I think that pretty much does it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Use my creator code, Sernando, in the item shop. And I'm going to see all you cool kids later. Peace out, folks.